personally think that we're actually looking at monster black holes where perhaps new laws of physics are emerging. Michio Kaku just announced, James Webb Telescope finally proved Big Bang wrong. What if we told you that the possibility of more life forms has become surer than ever? Six shocking galaxies have been discovered that defy all explanations. Join us till the end of the video as we discuss Michio Kaku breaking his silence on the James Webb Telescope's clearest image in history. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku just shared a shocking discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. NASA's multi-billion dollar telescope has just spotted six gigantic galaxies, each roughly the size of our own Milky Way. A group of galaxies from the dawn of the universe that are so massive they shouldn't exist. The discovery calls our entire understanding of galaxy formation into question. The six galaxies have as many stars as the Milky Way despite forming only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. These six galaxies have been dubbed Universe Breakers by the astronomers who spotted them. This name was chosen because if these galaxies are real, then it calls into question our entire understanding of galaxy formation. It takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way with 100 billion stars contained within it, and this discovery means we may have to rewrite all the textbooks on the beginning of the universe. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang. They're up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. They should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a monumental discovery in the form of six mysterious galaxies that, based on our understanding of cosmological theory, shouldn't be able to exist. This discovery could completely upend our understanding of space, with the paper's co-author describing the entire situation as bananas. Cosmological theory. Why can't these galaxies exist? The Big Bang is widely held up by scientists as being the birth of the universe, with matter exploding outward, causing the eventual formation of literally everything. This too included the formation of galaxies, the large stellar structures filled with stars and planets all held together by gravity. Exactly how and when galaxies formed has always been a matter of debate, though some studies have indicated it could have begun as much as 200 million years after the Big Bang itself. This may be the case with the Milky Way galaxy, where Earth, and by extension all of us, are located. According to NASA, the Milky Way is 13.6 billion years old, while the universe itself is 13.8 billion years old. Over time, stellar matter and smaller galaxies would merge together or gather via accretion in order to form larger galaxies. This too happened with the Milky Way, which had grown over the course of billions of years. In particular, it is believed by scientists that in the past, the Milky Way had merged with several other galaxies, including the Sausage Galaxy and the still-theorized Kraken Galaxy, both of which happened within the last 11 billion years. In other words, this means that while the Milky Way galaxy is old, it wasn't nearly this big for all 13.6 billion years of its existence. This growth took billions of years of accretion and merger in order to get as big as it is today. And this is what makes these six newly discovered galaxies impossible, because they would have been way too big way too early. How do scientists know any of this? NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is currently the most advanced space telescope around, with cutting-edge technology and advanced tools to let it see farther into the universe and see in much greater detail than ever before. In particular, among its capabilities is the ability to, technically speaking, see through time. Time and distance have an interesting relationship. 
This is because visual images and signals need to actually travel in order to be seen. For example, the sun is on average 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Now, one might think that all sunlight that reaches Earth does so instantaneously. But that actually isn't true. Light has a set speed it can travel, specifically 299,792,458 meters per second. This is very fast, but it isn't instantaneous. With this speed in mind, we know that it takes light from the sun a little over eight minutes to reach Earth. That means when we look at the sun, we aren't seeing a live image of what is actually happening on the sun. We're actually seeing what was happening on the sun around eight minutes prior. Now take this idea and expand the scale so it applies across the universe. All stars emit light, which we can see. But the farther away the star it is, the older what we're seeing is. If you're looking at a very distant star, you're actually seeing what happened a very long time ago. It is with this principle that the James Webb Space Telescope can see back in time. It can see so far away that it ends up seeing distant stars and galaxies, not as they are now, but as they were back when that light was first emitted. Now let's talk about the galaxies in question. The six potential galaxies spotted were estimated by the team to have existed around 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. The fact that galaxies existed back then isn't the issue. The Milky Way is estimated to be older, after all, and scientists in 2022 found four galaxies that likely formed 350 million years after the Big Bang. But these six galaxies are just enormous, significantly dwarfing these four other galaxies. In particular, these six galaxies are estimated to have around the same amount of stars back then as the Milky Way does now. Considering the Milky Way only amassed such a huge amount of stars after billions of years of mergers and accretion, it is baffling that there were galaxies so enormous not even one billion years after the Big Bang. But maybe it wasn't through mergers or accretion. Maybe they just formed stars naturally. After all, that does happen. The Milky Way does it too, with around a star or two forming each year, on average. But this also doesn't make sense because if these six galaxies were forming new stars to grow to such a massive size, they would need to be spawning hundreds of new stars each year throughout the entire history of the universe itself. That's no exaggeration, either. The Milky Way galaxy is thought to have around 400 billion stars, and these six galaxies must have a similar amount. So yes, they really would need to be forming that many stars so often. And even if they could do that, it still should be impossible because quite frankly, as far as our current scientific understanding of the universe is concerned, the amount of baryonic matter, normal matter, as opposed to dark matter, that existed in the universe at the time was nowhere near enough to fuel these galactic growths. There simply wasn't enough matter to form six huge galaxies so fast. It's bananas, study co-author Erica Nelson said in a statement. You just don't expect the early universe to be able to organize itself that quickly. These galaxies should not have had time to form. Currently, more research is needed to better understand these galaxies, if they even are galaxies. That seems to be the case, but more research is needed to confirm that. There is always the possibility that they're wrong, and that perhaps some of them are either a calculation error or a concealed supermassive black hole. But if even one of them is real, it means we may be profoundly wrong about some basic details about the universe. And it also has implications for research going forward too. Currently, computer simulation models of the universe often hinge on details like stellar mass, meaning the total mass of stars and galaxies. But if massive galaxies like this existed so long ago, we may need to reevaluate how we've been programming these models which have a significant impact on how we understand space. But ultimately, this is also just one of the many amazing discoveries the James Webb Space Telescope has helped make, helping us learn more about the universe with every new revelation. That's it for today's video. Like and subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell icon for more informative content.